hey hi everyone this is bakapa chincholikar welcome back to test automation tool selenium in today's video session we'll be discussing what is polymorphism two different types of polymorphism and what is method overriding and method overloading and we'll be discussing uh, example program and real time example for polymorphism First, I will define what is polymorphism. Polymorphism is derived from the two Greek words. The first one is poly and the second word, second word is morphs. The word poly means many. The word morphs means forms. So overall, I can define polymorphism is nothing but many forms. If you look at this example, uh, in shopping mall, the person can behave like a customer in bus stop he can behave like a passenger and in a uh, school he can behave like a student in at home he can behave like a son overall one person is performing different different operation at different situations like in shopping mall bus or school or at home there are two types of polymorphism in java programming language the first one is compile time polymorphism the second one is print time polymorphism we can achieve polymorphism in java program by method overloading and method overriding for these two concepts i have already explained in the previous video session if you have not watched to the video session so please do watch to the video session i have mentioned the url for both the vid videos in uh, description of this video below in this video session i'll be covering how to achieve method overriding nothing but runtime polymorphism that is the another way in this video session i'll be discussing here in this eclipse id i have created a class called uh, polymorphism here I am writing one class called demo1 in this uh, demo1 class I will be writing one uh, method called add add means add means that is addition of two numbers sub means here subtraction mul means multiplication here I am giving two arguments that is a uh, number one and number two for this I'm doing addition of two numbers and I'm returning it number one addition sign here and the number two that is it for the uh, demo one class here I'm defining the multi-level inheritance just I'm um, uh, declaring one more class called demo2 and I am using the extends keyword here so I can inherit the properties of the demo1 class in this demo2 class I will be performing subtraction of two numbers I will be defining one more class called demo3 class here I am inheriting the properties of the demo2 class in this demo3 class I am performing multiplication of two numbers here I have performed method overriding by using the same name in all other two classes so that is it for the demo1 class demo2 class and demo3 class in the main method I am defining demo1 reference variable just I'm creating the reference variable for demo1 class here for demo1 class you can assign the object of demo2 class or demo3 class or else demo1 class 
let us say I am creating an object of demo1 class itself. That, that is a normal way of crea creating the object of any class. Here I am creating the object of demo2 class. In this second statement, I am doing upcast. Upcast, upcast is nothing but if you are assigning the object of any subclass into the superclass, that is called the upcast in Java programming language. Here I am again uh, assigning the here I am assigning the object of demo three class. Here I am performing upcasting here again once again. Yeah, here actually I have defined only reference variable for demo one class. Nothing but demo one reference variable demo one class is performing different operation at different situation. It is executing demo one class by using the reference variable uh, reference one by using the reference variable it is able to execute the pro methods of demo two class by using the reference three variable it is able to execute the program execute the methods of demo three class so just i'll print statement just by calling the methods of the respective classes addition of two numbers is here I am using the reference variable of demo1 class dot here I am uh, passing the values say something 20 value and the for number 2 you can uh, assign any values and you can pass it in the same way you have to perform it for the subtraction and the multiplication this should be subtraction of two numbers and you have to change the reference variable for into the reference reference to this is the multiplication of Multiplication of multiplications of two numbers. I need to give the reference three. In this main class, demo one class is acting like different at different situation. By using the demo one reference variable, I'm able to execute the all other methods that are exist in the demo2 class and demo3 class execute this program addition of two numbers is 20 plus 10 is that is 30 subtraction of two number is 10 that is 20 minus 10 is 10 is the result and multiplication of two number is 200 that is 20 into 10 that is the correct result uh, this is how you have to achieve the polymorphism in java programming language that is it for polymorphism i think i have color sorry i i think i have covered all the topics for the today's video session if you have any queries please drop me an email to B A K K A P P A C at the red gmail dot com or else you can send out an WhatsApp message to eight four three one two five three zero zero seven. Please click on subscribe and like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.